So hello, saints. It is such a glorious day the Lord has given us. And um, I just, I had to come and uh, share with you something today that is just, it's just so cool. Um, you know how we're always talking about springtime and how things are growing and we're enjoying the beautiful flowers and the foliage and um i had these sweet potatoes sitting in the kitchen for a while and um they started to to grow something out of them and i'm thinking well you know i'm really kind of like with potatoes you know my mom always said them taters got eyes um but a sweet potato is totally different. I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and um, I noticed that I had this little one right here. This little guy. He's he's not real big. Um, I got a tape measure here. He is, let's see, this little guy is about four inches long. And he's just got some little fuzz on him. And um, almost looks like a baby seal. Well, there's a little eyeball. Yeah, it's a baby seal. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. And then um, I got this one. It's not much wider, but it's a lot. Um, it's a lot taller. So if you look at them, but look at the growth on it. And then this one is a little bit longer. It's uh, probably five, six inch. Oh, well, about five and a half inches. Uh, but I noticed that they all have different growth. Like, look at, check out this, this, um, I guess it's a sprout. Um, if you're a, somebody that knows how to grow stuff, I guess it's, uh, a slip is what I think they called it. Isn't that neat? But anyhow, um, it's just fascinated me because I got sweet potatoes growing something out of them and i'm like well i don't think i should eat it now and then i uh, did a little research and i found out that potatoes and sweet potatoes are completely different uh, potatoes are from the nightshades and sweet potatoes are from the morning glory family and i'm like oh my gosh they're actually they have big leaves and they can they can actually have flowers on them. And I thought, Lord, there's got to be some significance here. And all I could think of was a seed. Saints, plant seeds of good deeds, not weeds. Bless you. Um, of course, Rackham is um, Random Acts of Kindness Empowerment Ministries. Um, of course, we pray that your seeds, these potatoes, these sweet potatoes are actually seeds. We pray that your seeds will bloom love, not doom. No weeds allowed. So, saints, if you know anything about the Bible, the Holy Bible, you know that the Word of God, which is the Bible the logos is the seed okay so if you have ever heard of the seed then you know that whatever you plant whether it's a sweet potato you're going to get sweet potatoes or if you plant flower seeds you're going to get flowers so what about the seeds that you're planting, saints? Are you like this uh, little guy right here with just a little, oh, a little bit of fuzz? You haven't even decided to really start growing a slip? He's a little tiny fella. He's finally starting to catch up. Um, then you got this one, of course, that... Um, this is actually a picture of one of the Hebrew, ancient Hebrew, Odiot, 
one of the letters or vowels of the Hebrew ancient language. I won't get into that right now, but look at those beautiful little slips coming out. So what I found out, saints, is if you uh, cut the slip off, then that's what you plant in the soil uh, in order to grow sweet potatoes. But look at this one with its huge, I mean, we got, look at how beautiful, I mean, they look like little trees growing out of the, the thing. So what I wanted to share with you today, um, what I wound up getting is um, 1 John 3, 9. Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin because God's seed is in him and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. which lives and abides forever. Saints, you know, these seeds basically have to die before they can reproduce. So, when you look at the sweet potato, and it's from the family of the morning glories, I think that is the coolest thing because they love sunlight. Let's see. Heat and sunlight. They're of the morning glory family they're they're lightly covered in the soil they're climbing plants they have flowers they like organic crumbling loose soil and look at there they're pest resistant ha <laughs> ha i thought that is so cool so i have these sweet potatoes sprouting um little sprigs here i call them mini trees but they wind up having beautiful leaves and flowers. It, you know, if you think about it, if you're planting seeds of good deeds and not weeds, you're going to have a bumper crop of mm, beauty. But you still got to die in order to live. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Those who are not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but born of God. It is he who begot us of his own will with the word of truth that we should be the first fruits of his creation. Saints, the word of God, the Holy Bible, is the seed. And if you're planting good seed, you're going to have a harvest of good. You're not going to have... A harvest of weeds. Saints. It doesn't matter if you're starting out. With a little tiny sprig. If you die to self. You're going to start sprouting life. Look at that. That really is a picture of life. Isn't that the coolest thing? Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. Lord, let us plant seeds that bloom love and not doom. No weeds allowed here, saints. Grow in grace and in knowledge. Get out and do some random acts of kindness. 
If you're too busy to plant holy seeds, you're too busy. And if you're too busy, then you're being under Satan's yoke. Busy. B-U-S-Y. If you're too busy, then you're too being under Satan's yoke. And more than likely, you're planting weeds. What does the word say? Whoever is born of God does not commit sin because God's seed. Is in him and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. The word of God. Which lives and abides forever. Die to self. Mm. What is that word? I die daily. Doesn't matter if you just got a sprig or a whole bumper crop, saints. If the seed of the word is in you, then you are born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Our scripture reference for the day. The seed is the word of God, 1 John 3, 9, whosoever is born of God. Mm, you got the seed of God in you, you're not going to go around sinning. If you do, not because of your active will of wanting to sin, but because you are born of incorruptible seed, you will not want to sin. But if you fall, saints, you have an advocate. His name is Joshua. The Word made flesh and dwelling amongst us, full of grace, full of mercy, full of truth. God made flesh. He is just and faithful to forgive you. But you got to confess and repent. So, saints, plant seeds of good deeds and not weeds. My prayer for you today is that your seeds will bloom. Love, not doom. No weeds are allowed in my garden. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony just sharing with you. I love you. God bless you. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide and protect and keep you. Plant seeds of good deeds. Do not plant seeds that bring forth weeds. Look at your fruit and decide if you want to plant nightshades or morning glories. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And we're going to go with the family of morning glories. The sweet potato. God bless you. I love you. Sister with a testimony. Just sharing. Have a blessed day, saints.